Good night, everyone. When Darren asked me to contribute some talk and thoughts in a TEDx, I tried to think what kind of contribution, what kind of thoughts that I can share with you guys. I asked Darren, how old is the audience? Okay, about 17, 18 years old, 16 year old. Students uh, from the year 11 and 12. So I think when I was your age, what kind of um, questions, what kind of answers I was looking for. And then I come to this. It was when we are about to finish our high school, going to the university, what kind of major I'm gonna do, which university I'm gonna go. I'm sure that you guys have some of that thoughts in your, in your mind, right? So the topic of my speaking today, I mean, it's, it's not about venture capital, it's not about startup, it's not about merger and acquisition. Those things probably like too early for you to understand right now, but it's what you need it more immediate, which is the, the topic. Um, does university major matters? So when I was 17 year old, just like most young students, just like you guys here, I still don't know what to become. Because, uh, because of that, I tend to follow the crowd going to university, taking popular courses and majors. And like that time in 1997, it was accounting major. And then in 2002, I graduated in accounting. However, I've never worked as an accountant. And instead, I have a career of 18 years in multiple other sector and now in investment or asset management. So did I try to work as an accountant? Logically speaking, as an accounting graduate, yes, I try to find an accounting job, right? But I landed on different sector doing non-accounting work. Did it turn out to be good? Yes, of course, I love doing what I'm doing and I have a good career. And when I look back and think, I realized that I never want to be an accountant anyway, but the academic years and the learning did help me in many occasions throughout my career. Was learning accounting a waste of time? I don't think it was. It wasn't a, a waste of time. Understanding accounting and being able to read and interpret financial statement uh, did really helped me in my corporate career and it definitely helped me in my current investment career and it also helped me help me to in the to invest in the capital market and stocks something which is i'm passionate about but that's another topic so what is it we never know what will happen in the future most of the time it did not turn out to be as planned and I plan to be an accountant and life took me somewhere else but it is still important that you go to university and that you have a determination to be successful so i want to show you this research this is a research about the a college graduate in united states who actually land a job which is uh, related to their major so according to the research, this is done by Abel and Diaz in 2010, uh, by the way, um, only 62%, only 62% of US college graduate had a job that require a college degree. Yeah, so they graduate university, and they got a job that actually require a university degree. And then on the left, the, the research show that only 27.3% of college grad had a job that was closely related to that major. So the 70% have a job that's not, not related to their major. Yeah? Not that they are excluding uh, people with graduate degrees um, in the second chart. Um, there is no doctors, lawyers, college professor, and so on. Yeah? So of course, uh, a key caveat here is that landing on the job unrelated to your major isn't the end of the world. Indeed. It is the most common outcome by far, yeah? So your degree is a prerequisite into the competitive workforce, 
the major itself, it's irrelevant. It used to be important and special for somebody to have a degree. And now it is a must. Yeah? It is stand as a prerequisite to the competitive workforce now. Remember, research showed that only 27% of college graduates are working in a job that is even re related to their major. So what you should do? So after you choose your major, which doesn't matter whatever you choose, yeah, according to me, um, what is more important is that you make the most out of your university study. And here's how. We can uh, turn off this slide. It's no longer required. So first, your experience is what matters the most and what people notice. Yeah? Take advantage of the opportunities you have, the privilege you have of your parents send you to university as undergraduate to pursue interesting, take, take opportunity to pursue interesting internship, you know, get involved in a student organization, volunteer for a cause, and uh, any, anything that you are passionate about. These lines on your resume are so much more powerful than your major, yeah, uh, because they tell your employers or they tell your partners that that uh, you you are motivated, you are passionate, and you are involved, yeah, and then get a part-time job, yeah, get a part-time job, even though your parents already provided for you, yeah, even though you don't need the money, yeah, take a take a job when when you're in university. It's not about the money, it's about the experience. Yeah, doing and also doing a variety of job is also the best way for you for self discovery. Yeah, to figure out what you want to do after college, and just as important, what you don't want to do. Yeah, this is the time you should figure out what you love doing, what you hate doing, what you are good at, what you are bad at. Yeah, and second, think of soft skill. Yeah, your communication skills. Yeah, employers and business partners will refer, will prefer you if you are able to adjust at a different environment, listen, uh, learn quickly, and fit into the workplace environment, and be responsive to the tasks at hand. Critical thinking, communication, and problem-solving skills are more important than the jobs candidate undergraduate field of study and furthermore employers are also looking for candidates whose skill translate into out of the box thinking and innovations as many of the job being filled today come with challenges yeah uh, that are more complex uh, in the past yeah soft skill is the skills of the future i've met and worked with many people with impressive academic record, but they cannot communicate well. I've also met and worked with uh, some friends, a person that can speak multiple languages, but teamwork wasn't one of them. Yeah. Likewise, I have also met a friend or have a friend who have far from perfect academic record, but they hustle harder than anyone and they become successful uh, than anyone. Yeah. Be a street smart person. And then uh, the, the third one, your network matters way more than your college major. Yeah, you can choose a major that correlates with a high-paying job in the real world. Uh, you can graduate with a perfect GPA, but without a solid network of contact, you are missing a huge piece of the puzzle. If no one know who you are, no one will care how smart you are. Yeah. Uh, this is why it is important for people who truly want to be successful, yeah, um, just to put mu as much as effort, if not more, into networking as they do into their studies, yeah. And you can start doing this even from today, yeah. Like simply by building relationship with your teachers, with your professors, you know, making as much friend as possible, um, and taking participating in this like events like this, which is like really good. You guys did a, a great job, and um, and make 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 friends, volunteer to activities, even you know reach out to stranger, 
and um, get to know them, establish a network and contact. Yeah, and then uh, fourth, have a few really close friend, or at least one. Yeah, you are going to meet a lot of people during your college uh, life, but make sure you have those bunch of close friend by your side, your comrade with whom you can be yourself. You can share your happiness and share sad, sad, uh, sad times with them and who you know who will call you when you are not around yeah and who you would want to stay in touch with for the rest of your life you don't have to force friendship um, uh, with these uh, uh, people it's just happened with time and then uh, when it feels right with those few people don't ever let them go make them your support system and and fifth enjoy the experience as a student the friends you make and the moments you will experience will stay with you for a lifetime. And most importantly, don't forget to take a deep breath and enjoy the ride. And six, uh, finally, most important is to find your purpose and determination. Why? Because purpose gives you unprecedented, unprecedented energy. If you work in a field that you are truly interested in you will give the effort attention enthusiasm that translate into success what has been proven is that the most successful uh, people yeah the most successful people are motivated by a purpose and determination yeah and and to have that purpose and determination from a young age will help you a lot uh, in in life yeah and um, and any of you here today, if you haven't had your determination yet, you better think about it. Yeah, better think about it and, and, and find it. Yeah, don't stop until you got it. Don't settle for less. And to have this determination, it's only you who can set it up to yourself. Nobody else can do it for you. So <clears throat> let me tell you a bit of my story. I was just about your age yeah. I was like 17 18 years old when I graduated from high school in 1997 I, will, I was sent to Australia yeah uh, to, for a university study and then in 1998 the Asian financial crisis happened US dollar was 2,500 per rupiah sorry a uh, US dollar was uh, one US dollar was 2,500 rupiah and then it went up to 10,000 the cost of studying abroad has had just quadrupled so my parents sent me money and uh, worked three years of university tuition and living costs so that I don't have to worry about it and and you know I don't have to worry about not being able to afford so I can just concentrate on my study yeah but then I invest all the money in the stock market and then in the year 2000 that dot-com crash wipe it all out so there I was 20 year old student i was broke lost all my money i was devastated especially when i wasn't doing so well academically i was um, lazy in terms of not studying i was a bad boy and i didn't really study at that time you know i couldn't sleep for a week so after i cannot sleep for a week one day i i i rise and then um, i get up and i decided that I have to survive. I found my purpose and determination. It was not to fail and to be a successful student and graduate no matter what. So I decided to be a better student and to graduate. I then also look for a way to make money. I take a part-time job. So students in Australia, they can work 20 hours a week full-time people that works in the office they work for 40 hours I work 50 hours sometimes 56 hours sometimes 60 hours a week for three years and um, I also buy and sell used cars yeah, you know, to make some more money um, and uh, I also starting to study seriously so I work full-time I study full-time I study seriously yeah and um, and 
And um, I thought that if I have to survive, I have to find a way to make money to pay for my living costs and tuition, uh, study well, and eventually graduate. So I did, I graduated. So looking back to the years, the tough experience made me who I am today. And determination was the key. It was tough. But I found that my purpose and determination, it was to survive and to graduate, and I finally did. I want to share you another story. Guess please, um, guys, can I have the, the, the second slide? I want to share you another story. Not about me, but about somebody named Jerry Morrell. Yeah. Um, he's the founder and owner of Five Guys Burger. So I'm sure maybe some of you, maybe, maybe some of you have had uh, five Guys Burger. This is one of my favorite burger, and um, I think this is one of the best hamburger ever created. Did you know that the guy that started Five Guys, this guy Jerry Morrow, he was told by his teacher and parent, teacher or parent, he was told something like this: study, or you flip burgers for a living. Yeah, so <laughs> he was told that, and and um, and indeed, he actually did it. He flipped burger for a living. And today, Five Guys Burger is a successful burger chain uh, started in 1986. They have 1,700 restaurants worldwide. Certainly good business, right? And uh, Jerry did study economics in University of Michigan, but he never worked as an economist. He did work as a bond trader uh, before he started the burger chain. And the burger chain became his legend. So, um, although his business is not related to his major. I'm very confident that his university study and the life experience have helped him significantly in preparing towards studying that business. So the key takeaway for me today is that worry less about what major you will choose or end up doing. Most likely or probably you will not land on the job that match the, your major anyway. Nevertheless, you still need to study in university and get a degree. This is also a chance to build your character, getting to know more about yourself, build a good networking, and enjoy the process. And last but not least, please find your purpose and be determined. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.